And we saw a great day today across South Florida. Two beautiful weekend days. This was sunset in Palm City. 81 degrees at 715 tonight. And it's nice to see the later sunset. Uh, so just about to set right there at 730. And then we still had plenty of light on the horizon as late as about 820. And then things are getting pretty dark. But it's nice to see those longer evenings. Some beautiful photos from our weather spotters. This is from Amy sending this in from Juno Beach. Loving those sun rays coming uh, from behind the clouds and a beautiful boat captured out there. So we take you from sunrise to sunset. This is from Michael in Okeechobee. Gorgeous colors there, just stunning. And thank you, Fred, for sending in this gorgeous sunset from Stuart there. Very, very beautiful pictures. No shortage of uh, eye candy here in South Florida. Just about everywhere you look on a sunny day, you see beautiful views. 72 right now in West Palm Beach. Dew point of 56, so it's still a fairly dry air mass. The wind out of the northeast at 8. Now, with that northeasterly breeze, we won't be quite as cool as we were last night. So, especially near the coast, we'll stay on the mild side. Winds generally less than 10 miles per hour, with the exception of Boca. A little breezy there, 14 miles per hour. Now, our winds will be picking up as we head into Monday and Tuesday. Wake up temperatures tomorrow morning. Northern zones of the Treasure Coast in the low range of the 60s. 62 Vero Beach, 63 Fort Pierce. A little bit cooler inland, 61 Okeechobee, 63 degrees for Bell Glade, 63 Wellington, and by the coast, we'll see those temperatures in the upper 60s. Now, this is important for tomorrow for the uh, viewing of the eclipse as we head into the afternoon, 2 o'clock, a few clouds moving through, but right at 3 p.m., the best viewing time for South Florida, we're looking pretty good, not a whole lot of cloud cover, so I think we're going to be okay and be able to see that partial eclipse. Of course, use your approved glasses. Do not look at the sun without uh, something to protect your eyes. Forecast highs tomorrow, upper 70s to the low range of the 80s, so seasonably warm, high pressure and control, dry air in place, and our temperatures shoot up by Thursday as our winds veer eventually to the south and southwest. Then a front rolls through and we cool things down into the weekend. Here comes the front, rain ahead of it. So our best chance to see rain will be late Thursday, mainly into the evening hours and into the overnight hours of Friday morning. And then by Friday, we're clearing out just in time for the weekend. High pressure and control and temperatures comfortable once again. So really the only rain we have to be concerned about late Thursday through overnight Friday. That's about it for the work week. Tonight, 69 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, a little breezy with our winds picking up out of the east at 15 and our surf increasing as well, anywhere from three to four feet, uh, three to five, six feet offshore. Inland waters will be choppy, high tide at 818. And here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures warming up right through Wednesday, all the way to 84 degrees, mainly dry. Thursday, the big uh, transition day, the front coming through, a 40% chance of showers in storms. Then we clear out late Friday. Beautiful for Saturday and Sunday.